got? 7, Alrighty guys. Welcome back Welcome to YouTube back. Bears. Yes sir. Um, Today we bring you my favorite brand. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, it's pretty much like, I, I, I got nothing bad to say about these. Um, just for everybody's curiosity's sake. Yes. If you don't know the specs, they're on the side of the box. Now, I don't know if that's about the old ones, but this one, it, I'm pretty sure the other ones had it. All these specs for this subwoofer is right here. Either way, I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon. It does say it in the description. Find it on the website in the description. Yep. I'm pretty sure you can find it. Mm. Um, I don't think that they've made anything... In the past couple of years, that has smaller than a three-inch coil. So if you've seen a vi any videos saying that this sub has a smaller than a three-inch coil, that's not right. They're not correct. As you can see right at the top. Oh, this one's actually different than the other side. But overall, so we got more specs on the other side. Each side's different. Oh, so this got more specs on this side. Three-inch voice coil. Answer your question. Uh, two times 70 ounce, ounce magnets, um, so nothing crazy. Uh, your sensitivity, your RMS 800 watts, 1600 max. I was wondering what was in that picture. So and I uh, and I, they don't have any, like the, the subs I have even, uh, HCYs or double magnets. Um, but I know that I think they're dual 100 yeah, ounce those magnets. Are big slugs, that's a yeah. heavy little. I think those are dual 100 Heavy ounce little magnets. budget sub, the HCY. Oh, yeah. um, so guys, we bring you today. The WLLDSE MA5-12. Don't really understand what the MA5 stands for. All their other things have been some sort of similarity. HST, yeah. HCY. This is MA5. Or, yeah, that's a definitely a 5. MA5-12. It's a dual 2-ohm sub. Um, one of these things, again, where it's like, who knows if they're going to be back in stock. Um, as of right now, Aren't they, they don't have already any. out of stock? These actually did you go said, out of, Yes, they yeah. did go out of stock, all of them. And they recently just did now see the thing is even with their hst and hty they did this little cycle of having them in stock going out of stock going yeah. back in stock and i think they did that three times so this would be technically the second round of in stock so these might be around for a good amount please go check them out amazon that's all i can find them where they sell them right now um they're really good for the price i actually have two of these the other one's up in my room right now because who knows, like, you know, who knows if they're going to go out with just, like, the HCYs. I got two of them. So, we are busting into this today. And, yeah, this side has different technical, I mean, similar. Um, this actually says excursion. Numbers. I'm going to bring you up and show you a close-up of the... On, the... on that side? Yeah, the box. I'll just show the whole box. Um, I definitely got to say, uh, very similar packaging to all their other ones. I don't remember the other ones having so many technical. Um, so if you want to pause specs. your screen on the, yeah, right on that data. On the, that's the specs on that side. You want to turn the box around after you cut that. And that's the other specs on that side there. So I gotta say, just even pushing from the top. Um, very nice. I can already tell it's going to have decent packaging. Um, this does not feel like loose oh, in any I way. Oh, I hope it's not the... It is Does that. that come right off? Or is it the split one? Oh! This is what they do with all their subs. No, is it? Yeah. I don't remember... I, I don't even remember opening they, they the come. other ones. That's like how the, even the sundown comes. So it comes in this... That's how Rockville packages package theirs, paints. too. Yes, Rockville does the same thing. Uh, so we're going to have to put this on the ground and pull it out. You can do it. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I'll hold the box, and pull it out. Shouldn't be that. Don't see, it's just awkward. Here, we'll put down. Yeah, it's just weird. This packaging is shit. Here, you grab that side. Yeah. Oh. Ah! It was already broken. Okay, that's fine. 
Well, I still have my side. I can just grab this up. <laughs> Got it? Here, grab this up. No one can fall. Yeah, I have it. You can take that off. Okay. Ah, and the plastic little oh. round thing on the bottom. <laughs> We got a little bit of a, a nice, 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 decent packaging. I mean, like it, not my favorite packaging, but make sure you get your uh, what, are you gonna, what are you gonna do at that point? Yeah, I know. This is actually, I think this is where this all started. <laughs> this whole packet crap. Caleb's packets. Indeed. There's a little warning on here. All right, so we got a little warning sticker. I think it says don't put the bag over your head because you might choke. bag away from babies and children. Yeah, don't you use might the choke and put it over your head. So don't bag, put a plastic bag over your head, this guys. This bag is not a toy. Yes. Plastic bags don't go over your head. It looks very similar to the for real. For real. That's not bad, oh, hey. Here's Kayla's packet. Hey, that's my packet. <laughs> Little thing. And I can see the coil right off the bat right there. Guys, I gotta say, this ain't even that bad. Some nice, little, little, nice little tinsels there. Now, the tinsels aren't bad actually no. on here. Uh, at least there is no four gauge push terminals. Yeah. They changed a little bit. What's nice is like they're 10 gauge. What I thought was different, there's a boot on these. There is yep. no boot on the mother HST HCYs. Yep. Um, and we'll come give you guys a close up real quick. At the top, we got a decent surround. Uh, nothing super tall. I'd say maybe nice somewhere it's like a DDX. Maybe looking, that yeah. looks similar to like a DDX yeah. song. SVR. That's who, SVR, yep. Very nice, got your, your WLODSE logo just like all the other ones. I Double mean, nothing around. to complain. Paper cone. That's a nice basket. Um, by the weight of this, I feel like it's aluminum, like it's the it's heavy. It's gotta be aluminum. Because it's decently heavy. I think it's almost 30 pounds. I'll move my magnet. Oh, magnets, huh? I'm gonna move my magnet. Mm, figures. Huh. Yep. I just put it here too. Good. Good. Yep. Someone move my magnet. I'm get, just guessing by looking at it. It's not a steel basket. No, it's decently heavy too. Yeah, I think that's a aluminum basket. So on the bottom. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, that's actually hilarious. We actually got a pole vent for the first time. Um, the HST, the HST has no vents at all. The HCYs only have voice coil vents. No pole vent. Um, Good old Dunkin' Donuts. So to the rescue. The uh, like I just said, the. Uh, so that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Not if it steel. sticks, it's steel. Yeah. Um, so we got a pole vent. Very nice. Well, that's a bag. <laughs> Pull vent, like I said, we didn't have those on the HCYs, so this gives us more venting. Very, very nice. Can't complain all there. Yeah. Did the HCY have? They had voice vents? coil vents only. Yeah, okay. These actually have all vents. <laughs> we got voice coil vents. We'll bring this here. What are you looking at? Just making sure it's focused. So, like we said at the top, we got the uh, WLODSE logo. Nice double stitching here. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of them are stitching. Actually, I think my other ones have red stitching. So this is a little different. This comes with the uh, the black stitching. Um, I mean, I personally like the red. I feel like it gave it more of that pop out of their red and their logo. The black just kind of matches in with the rest of the sub. Yeah. Decent surround, no mega roll. I think this is more supposed to be an SPL sub rather than just your regular, like, banger sub i guess um it definitely looks more spl built in in all it does not mention that but they're not the, gonna the mention hst that. looked like something that they threw together that's actually what that looked like so something that guys they... this is like definitely pretty decent like in real life like i mean it looks pretty good on amazon but in, in here it looks real nice too um those tinsel leads like i was talking about pretty pretty good nothing crazy but they're not also your regular ones they're they look pretty like... thick Regular roll. Probably, I say probably six millimeter tinsels. Honestly, that looks like ten, ten, gauge. ten gauge. Maybe yeah. even fit some eight in there. Possibly, you get your three inch coil in there. I'm gonna move that flashlight. Gotta see it in there. Um, 
get the slug, the double slug, double 70 ounce mag magnet, my bad. And down here, we just get the uh, pole vent. That looks like it's bigger, but and it's the got the six boot on it. six so. volts voice coil vent, so, I mean, this looks like it's going to be pretty good. I bet it'll take its power. I'm not even, like, worried about it. Oh, yeah. All the other ones did. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to get, get this on a test and uh, just get it in a box, guys. So definitely go check these out. Just one is 120. So and they have a 10 inch and a 15 inch, and they don't. They don't think they've ever met a 10 inch before. So they, you know, if you want to do a 10 inch, they got the 10 inch for 110. Yeah, they're 10 dollar differences. The 15 is 130. 110. So yeah. Really. So they're all 10 dollar differences. Not bad. So you want different inches? That's definitely on par with like American base. Mm. That, that's about the same as the Titan. Mm. So that's pretty cool. So uh, I guess we'll be getting this in a box. And uh, putting it on an amp, this thing will be wired down to one ohm, and we will see what these run at. And uh, so, sit in your seats, grab a snack or something. All right. So stay tuned. Yes, All right, guys, welcome back. All right, let me fix the camera. Let me know down bit. below what snack you grabbed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did you guys grab a snack? <laughs> Comment down below what snack you grabbed. There we go. Um, some pop tarts. So this is not the too. HCY that we've done a bunch of videos on. It's not the HST. It's the MA5. MA5 12 D2 one ohm wired. You know what's um, good though? These this brand has gotten a lot of attention on this channel, and I hope the same for this one. For real, like because you look up the, when you look up this brand, yeah, it's all, all of us. Pop up, yeah. And I hope this one does the same. For real. And we'll have a couple videos probably. You know, maybe we'll just do some extras. Obviously, in my car, we'll take some and, and all that. And we don't dog speakers just to dog and we give honest reviews yeah 100 on man. what they really are so if you're looking for an honest reviewer check out our videos guys i mean we tell you if it's not all that great you can obviously see it in our in our videos we buy stuff as well and we don't want to go look at somebody's video and have someone say oh this is awesome and then get one and it's not it's, actually it's that good. garbage yeah, yeah exactly so guys this has been great so far. We just did some tests. Go look at the TikTok. Yeah, we tuned it up a little bit. So this is running on the HC3000 one ohm version. Uh, running around 2-3 ohms, yeah, maybe 4. Three ohms. Uh, sealed box. So if any, if we ever see a, any ported right now, it'll probably be when I get it in my car. Um, but let's, without further ado, let's get it going. And it sounds very, very nice. I mean, I know it's in a sealed enclosure, but not all speakers sound in the sealed enclosure anyway. Yeah. You know, it like vibrates your hand from the box. It's, it's vibrating the house, so. Yeah. It's not as loud as the uh, ported box would be. But it's still strong in But there. it's putting out bass. You can definitely feel it and hear it in the house. And you can see it flex like crazy. It, I love the way they flex in the in the sealed boxes. <laughs> X Max. Yeah, you you really get to see the X Max and even without, that without, then some without flipping. Yeah, because that ported. If you give it too much, then you're gonna flip this up. Let's see what we're getting. There was almost 800 right there. And guys, this sub we've already tested and done this many times, and it is cold. I yeah, mean, this sub has very 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 good venting and and it's in the sealed enclosure. Like no way for air to escape, and it's still cold. Like not even warm. We did the Defonts Machete, and that one got a little warm, but this one, I, it's blowing my mind so far. 884. Awesome. Those burps are giving probably decent power as well. Just those little bumps that was 700 watts. Yeah, yeah. Got 904 that time. Eleven forty-four. Wow. One point eight ohms it dropped to. Awesome. Nice. So I think that's definitely our high number there. Eleven forty-four, eight thirty-five, right off the bat. So it's pretty consistent around hitting eight hundred watts. And that's, and that's in a RMS, box. right? That is RMS. Yeah. RMS is 800 watts on this sub. <laughs> Say 2400 feet. What? What? That's what, what? That's what it says in the ad. Which would be 1200 max, but it's 1600 max. That's fine. 
That's what it should be. So it's yes, sixteen hundred. Yeah. Well, that's max. Peak is even higher. I don't know about that peak number. I don't know. That I don't know where they come me. up with those numbers there. I think the HCY is a thirty-six hundred peak. <laughs> Well, they, they, we they, got that out the, of it. Hey, look they? at the Punisher. They're like 5,600 feet. Can you get feet. that out of it? They, they probably. Survive? Those things would take power for days. Anyway, this has been a great test. I can't say nothing bad right now. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's going to get... I'm going to see if it fits in the box I have. I think it would. I'm hoping it does. Um, I mean, I got wiggle room right now with those HCYs, and the cutout is only, I mean, by, by decimals lower. So... Oh, we got 1205 on there. 1205. Yeah. Even better. So, uh, I mean, I'll I finish wrap, wrap up this video, this video and, uh, we'll come back with some more videos when he yeah. gets it inside of his car. Let me know any, let us know any questions you got about this sub. I got anything about the brand, maybe some questions. Uh, I did wire, I did do a multimeter on it and they do come out 2.0 on each coil, which is perfect. So, uh, I did sell the HST, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So but, we only uh, have the HCY and the MA5 at the, at the moment. And knowing me, I'll probably get the other ones if they ever come out with more because they're such a good know. price, and I love this brand. I can't say anything bad about it, so other and than that, Nobody guys, else gave any honest reviews about them, so. No. All right, guys. As always, take care of yourselves and each other, guys. Peace. Peace.